I go to school in the middle of Pennsylvania and we're right next to the Susquehanna River. So near the river, there's actually a, a pretty significant invasion of Japanese knotweed. And I wanted to correlate that with decreases in diversity. So I had two study areas, one that was heavily invaded with this plant and another study area that was not. What I did was I sampled across the herbaceous understory and canopy layers within each of the study areas within 30 by 12 meter plots. And I recorded presence, absence at data, and density data for both of those study areas. Um, after I was done, for th at the end of the summer, I discovered that, in fact, both sides of the bank are significantly different from each other. Um, to show, uh, there are twice, in total species count, there's twice as many species on the healthy side as the invaded side. And this also holds just considering the herbaceous layer, that it's about a two to one difference in total species counts. Also, I did several analyses to prove that they're significantly different from each other. So I did Bray-Curtis comparisons with total species counts between both sides, and I also did it with the herbaceous layer and tree communities. Because what was interesting was although there's a two to one difference in total species counts, um, the tree communities are actually the same on either side of the bank, of the river, excuse me. Um, and then I also did an MDS comparison comparing the two banks to each other. So, as you can see, the two banks cluster, which means that all of the plots are more similar to themselves within this one study area than any of the plots on the other side. And then, um, why I even did this project in the first place was that riparian areas serve very important ecological functions. So they sequester nutrients and even contaminants that would otherwise be swept downstream. And they provide valuable habitat. And also, if the community compositions are changing, it can also affect how well they can prevent erosion. So in the future, all of these analyses only include presence absence data. So in the future, I'm even going to include density data to make my argument much stronger. I'm going to in examine more abiotic factors like sunlight and flooding regimes. Um, I also am going to maybe look at how other plant species might be affecting diversity, such as poison ivy or garlic mustard, which is famous for its allelopathic properties. Um, and then I'm also going to include a tree component in the future because this invasion might be reducing seedling recruitment of trees in these riparian areas.